Women's Empowerment educates and empowers women who are homeless in Sacramento with the skills and confidence necessary to secure a job, create a healthy lifestyle, and regain a home for themselves and their children. This local nonprofit is a Tegna grant recipient and executive director, Lisa Kolb, joins us to tell us about what women's empowerment means to her and the Sacramento community. Thanks for joining us today, Lisa. Thank you, Aubrey. Well, first off, congratulations on the grant. We want to know more about the Women's Empowerment Program and how it all got started. So Women's Empowerment began 20 years ago. Um, I was working at a daytime hospitality center for women and children who were experiencing homelessness. And I kept listening to their stories and they would share how they were so grateful for the survival services, but what they really wanted was a pathway out of homelessness and a better future for their children. And so I began to hold focus groups with them and their answers to what their strengths were that we could build on, what their needs were and how they could um, get a job and secure housing um, became the blueprint for what women's empowerment is today. And through these past 20 years, um, we continue to listen deeply to the women and what the most pressing needs are and we pivot our services, um, but not our mission. Wow, it's a wonderful mission you have there. What's the most pressing need for women and children who are experiencing homelessness? And how is your work really making that difference? So obviously the most pressing need is affordable housing. There's a deficit of about 70,000 um, houses, units of housing in Sacramento. Um, the Department of uh, um, Housing and Urban Development has said that Sacramento has more unhoused families than any metropolitan city in the country. So without housing, it makes it hard for anything else to happen. And even though you know we have women that have one or two jobs um, full time, they cannot afford to get into housing. They're sleeping in their car with their children night after night and going to work and leaving their children in the car alone. Um, so we just have to come up with better solutions. Oh yeah, really. And I would say, this, oh my, it's just crazy. Um, and when the stay at home order was put in place in March, and obviously all of the women we were working with, we began to work with virtually for the first couple of months. And we would, the graduates especially, we would call them and ask them what their greatest needs were. Then in that first month, over half of 400 families had been laid off. Oh wow. And that figure just stunned us. Yeah, that's a huge so figure. We, it is, it's huge. I mean, that's about 175 families that had been laid off who'd already secured housing and had a full-time job. Um, and their greatest fear was that they would fall back into homelessness. And so we began to look at what industries were surviving the pandemic and the recession. And began to create partnerships with them um, and develop employer partnerships so that we could help women regain a new job so that they wouldn't lose their housing. And what industries were these and in, in the programs that you offered that kind of got people through the pandemic? So we continue to work with our property management program, which is in conjunction and partnership with the Institute for Real Estate Management Sacramento. And they provide the training for women um, and we provide um, a stipend each week. And the beauty about this program is that it not only provides a career with upward mobility, but it often provides housing on the properties that they're managing. Another one. All right, that was Lisa Culp with Women's Empowerment, recipient of a Tegna grant. She was telling us about their programs, how they've made it through the recession, and everything they're doing to help women uh, get out of the cycle of homelessness in our community. If you want to learn more and you want to find out how to support their programs, you can visit womens-empowerment.org.